Hello. I'd like to show you how to commission a multi-head optical beam smoke detector. With the beam detector and reflector installed, apply power. All the segments light up for a short period. Then E01 is displayed almost immediately after that. Wait for the display to show E02. Power-up can take about 45 seconds. E02 indicates the detector is operating, but that the system is not yet set up. The LED indicator on the upper right of the system controller flashes green every 10 seconds to indicate normal operation. Enter the passcode using the keypad. Default is 1, 2, 3, 4. This takes you to the engineering menu. For a system that's not yet set up, the command find will be displayed. Press the tick button to start the find command. This interrogates the system to see how many detector heads are connected. The display will count down from 60. After 60 seconds, the number of detector heads found will be displayed 1D or 2D. Press tick to accept if the number is correct. We are now going to align each detector head in turn. Now select the detector to be set up, and this can be done anywhere in the engineering menu by pressing the up and down keys. Once the detector has been selected, go back to the detector menu to begin the alignment of that detector. Having moved to the detector menu, the next thing to do is to select the range, which is the distance between the detector and the reflector. Select from 8 to 50 meter or 50 to 100 meter ranges. Now turn on the laser by selecting the laser icon on the engineering menu. The system will be in fault during laser alignment. Use the arrow keys on the system controller to steer the laser until it falls on the reflector. Once this is done, select either the tick or cross button to turn off the laser. You are now ready to perform automatic alignment of the chosen detector. In the alignment menu, there are two options, hand and auto. Hand is only used by advanced users in troubleshooting, so select auto from the alignment menu and press tick. The auto alignment will take approximately three minutes, during which detector signal strength can be viewed on the display. This procedure ensures the best alignment and detector power for the installation. If the system detects a problem, an error code is displayed on the LCD. Refer to the user guide for error codes. When finished, set will be displayed. The set procedure ensures we are aligned to the reflector and adjusts for any background noise in the system. With set displayed, press tick once. S00 will be displayed. Completely cover the reflector with a non-reflective material. Whilst covered, press tick once more and S01 will be displayed. Uncover the reflector and press tick once more. It is now possible to select another detector and repeat the range, laser, auto, and set sequence. In normal operation, the detector LED will flash green. In fault, the detector LED will flash amber, and the LED on the system controller corresponding to the detector head 
will also flash amber. Similarly in fire, the detector LED and LED on the system controller corresponding to the detector head will flash red, and if the LCD was in sleep mode, then fire will also be shown. There are other settings that can be made. For example, the fire threshold can be set for each detector. The delay to fire can be set for each detector. The delay to fault can be set for each detector. The mode for the system can be set to latching or non-latching. Refer to user guide for further instructions. Now it is time to conduct the fire and fault tests to confirm correct commissioning. For the fire test, using a non-reflective material, slowly cover the reflector, taking longer than two seconds. After the delay to fire time, fire will be signaled. An alternative fire test can be performed from the fire test menu. Select the fire test icon in the engineering menu. Press tick twice. The system reports a fire to the fire panel. Press cross button to stop the fire test and return to the engineering menu. For the fault test, using a non-reflective material, completely cover the reflector within two seconds. After the delay to fault time, a fault will be signaled. Commissioning is now complete. Please refer to the user guide and CD included with the product for further information.